Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading covering Sunday, August 25th to Sunday, September 1st, 2019. I am Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E -E of the Watch Natalie channel. And I'm doing um, a little bit of a psychic tuning session before I get into, into the readings, okay? And what came up during that... <laughs> Is there an 1111 Scorpio watching this video reading right now? I channeled this really excited but really nervous energy, just really, really like hopping and skipping and jumping. And what the message is for you for Scorpios for this week, covering August 25th to September 1st, 2019, is just trust. That's how it came through. Just trust. Just trust, just trust, just like that, okay? So I don't know what you've got going on. I don't know what this has to do with. It's something that you're really excited about but really nervous about. And it's like, I feel that it's a big leap of faith. I feel like it's like it's a jump. I feel, I feel it, I absolutely feel it. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more shuffling and then we'll get right into it for you, Scorpios. Just remember, this is for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising. This is a timeless reading. So it could be resonating for you now or anytime thereafter. Check out the description box below for more info on that. And here we go. Just trust. Scorpio for Scorpios this week. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, hold on. It is the six of pentacles. Ooh, the three of staves in reversed and the ace of swords as your first energy straight out the gate, Scorpio. How interesting. This is a lack of distance. There's no distance, there's no expectation. Because upright, it's, it's, it's distance, it's sending the ships out, it's expecting them to come back, at least one to come back, carrying gold or doubloons or you know something like that. And in the reverse, they're telling me very clearly that it's about the distance. It's not really, it could be a little bit about expectations, but if it's about expectations, it's referencing that there's no fear of your expectations not being met. Whatever you're expecting, you're absolutely going to act you're going to get. It's it's really clear, especially showing up with the Ace of Swords. This is truth, it's clarity arriving to the situation. I'm connecting with the Scorpio Sun Moon arising this week who can expect number 1 to be on the receiving end of generosity. I don't know how you feel about that Scorpio, but you're going to receive generosity here. It's almost like a reward. It really feels like a gift. It really feels like it could be for speaking truth. It could be for providing clarity, but either way, it's, it's you delivering the clarity or it's you receiving the clarity, receiving more information, receiving the ultimate information, receiving confirmation is what they're telling me. Just trust. They said it again. They said it again. Seven of Swords, Scorpio. What is that? Seven of Swords. Seven of, ooh, and the Four of Swords. The Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords. You, my dear, are escaping from something. It could be a commitment, it could be an obligation, it could be something that your heart is not in. You're, you're getting out of that to, to do some, it's like vacation. It's almost like you're escaping to go on vacation. That's kind of interesting. If we want to take a closer look at that, you're escaping and it's showing up as an escape. It's sort of like, I can't stay. I have another commitment after this. And then you leave and you don't have another commitment after this. Like you tell someone you can't stay or you can't uphold this, whatever, because you have another job another important project or another someone else who's expecting you but actually you're just you're you're getting away from it to, to actually i'm getting vacation out of this i don't know why maybe some of you are going on vacation but it's it's a rest it's like a it's a rest period it's taking a breather it's just 
bringing the energies in and getting some really good sleep. That's what they just said. Good sleep for the Scorpio this week. Well, if it's not the super secret spying Scorpio card itself, the Page of Swords, my dear. The Page of Swords. I'm connecting with a Scorpio this week who has this... You see, this Ace of Swords, is con these two are connected. The Page of Swords gathers intelligence, gathers information. And the test of this card is what do you do with this information? What do you do once you found the information that you're looking for? Well, that's the test. The test is the test of integrity, is to use this information honorably, with integrity, the sword of truth, speaking the truth, using the truth to speak the truth, using the truth, the information that you find in the intel to bring it to light. It's because this card, it's a, I like this card. I like this card, but I spy psychically. I'm a psychic spy, so I would like this card. But this is really about gathering the information, gathering the intelligence for a greater good, for, for use of speaking the truth, for bringing the truth to light. You could be using this truth to close the distance between you and someone else. And this is either an act of generosity on your part to approach them and speak the truth and you relieve some, you relieve some nervous feeling in them or, and, and or two things can be true at once. This could be you bringing the truth to them, closing the distance, and in return, you receive generosity, you receive a listening ear, you receive real due consideration this week, Scorpios. But in order to do this, you're going to have to put something else off. You're going to have to, you're going to have to escape from something else. But whatever you're, you're watching, this is, you're like the all seeing eye of Sauron. Okay. That's what standing alone like this kind of separate, this page of swords. It's like, you just see everything. Like there's like, you're watching the whole situation. You're watching all the people involved. You're watching the situations. You're watching what this person has going on, what this person has going on with this, but you know, like all of it. Cause I feel like there's two different things here. There's this situation with the truth. There's this the closing of the distance with someone or something, a business deal. We don't really know what it is quite yet. And then we have this other thing that you're getting away from. This thing that you're kind of, you know, get, sorry, that you're kind of um, moonwalking away from and just kind of like backing up slowly. Okay. Um, all right. What else do we have for the Scorpios this week? Oh, no. Sorry. That was so dramatic. Sorry. It's the Eight of Swords. It's what is it that you're not seeing? What is it? See, you feel like you can't do something. No, you think that you can't do something, but it's not the truth. It's not, it's not reality. You're holding yourself. Just trust, Scorpio. That's what this is. You're not trusting. You're not trusting. Just trust. You're not a very trusting sign, Scorpio. And you just got to do it. You just got to trust. Just trust. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying, I feel like this. I'm just, it's just this, it's this energy. It's, it's just, I want to do the work for you. I, I would just save you from all the pain and heartache on the planet Scorpio if I could, but it's, it's bad karma for me. If I do, I have to let you do the work. Everyone, everyone else do the work themselves, but I just want to just battering ram there. Whoa, whoa. They're showing me a battering ram. There is sexual connotation with this too. We have the Chariot, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Okay, Scorps. So there, there's a lot to unpack here. There's definitely, there was some, okay, here we go. Here was something you've gotten. This is, a, this is an interest, this is a familiar energy for the Scorpios in particular, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We have this intuition, this intuitive person, this very, emotional feminine energy could be, I mean, it's you, you know, it's queen of cups, emotions, Scorpios. Then we have another cup card and this is, it's sort of not the high standards. It's, uh, 
I need more time with this. We're about run out of time and we have so much to get into too. We're gonna finish this up in the extended. I hate to cut, we cut us off. It's such an interesting like juncture right here, but we've got to, okay? We've got other people that need my attention. Okay, so Scorps, I'm gonna dig into the rest of this in the extended. If you'd like to book me with a personal reading, feel free, theartigan.com slash shop slash shop. <laughs> I'm back to an eight day turnaround. I need an additional day for processing. Sometimes I get a booking like while I'm sleeping and then I lose like a whole half a day or whatever. So it's, I'm doing the eight day turnaround. So you will get your reading within eight days time, probably more like seven to eight days. And everything you need is in the description box below, or you can join me on the flip side and purchase the extended that is also down below. It's an additional 20 minutes on top of this 10 minute reading. Um, that completes the story of energies that we have here. Okay, everyone. Thank you, Scorps. Take care, and I will see you very soon. Bye. And take the action. It's the actual action. Okay, Scorps. Okay, let's go ahead and start clarifying. Oh my God, you found a partner. You found a partner, Scorpio. Who is it? Congratulations. Aww. There's a conversation that needs to happen between you and this person that you at the same time feel close to and feel distant from. Like you searched the whole world and you found the one. I think it's about time I dip. <laughs> from all this going on here, I think it's about time that I leave. It's like you're plotting your escape. Any judgment in reverse for Scorpios? for the week of August 20th. That did want to come out. <laughs> well, there's your 1111 Scorpio. Get out of it. You want to get out of a contract that is anti what you want and what you want to go towards and what you want to actually talk about. It's, you just don't, you don't, you're not into this anymore. You have a new thing. Does that make sense? You have a new thing, Scorpio. And it's not this. You're a different score, let me put it that way. You could be in the process of releasing, of control. They just said releasing control. So this is interesting. But now all you have to do is just trust, Scorpio. Just trust. Just trust. Okay, that's like your mantra for this week, Scorpio. Just trust. Okay, you have to change your strategy. Scorpio, you have to change your strategy. You've got to change your strategy as far as how you get out of the situation and how you get into the situation you want to get into. Involved or the person that you're trying to get to, the person you're trying to close this distance with, it's through watching them and like spying on them that is actually providing you some relief and some hope and some faith. And I, so I'm gonna say it's okay. Just spy to your little Scorpio heart's content, my dears. Just spy on gosh do i title this video just trust or spy on spy on scorpio because it's good for you i know how sexy you are i know how powerful you are i know how intelligent you are to so to see your powers of mental acuity reduced to stress and anxiety and lack of confidence it's like i just want you to break free I want to break free. I want you to break free, Scorpio. I just want to see you grab life by the. I just want you to break free. I want you to break free so bad because the situation you want to get out of, you just need to think clearly, think strategically. For the situation that you want to get into, you just have to know that it's going to work. I don't know why you're overthinking it. Let go of control of the other people and the other situations and just control yourself. Just control your strategy. Just control your mind and your emotions. Just be your emperor self and all will go well. That is the one wrong part of your strategy, Scorpio, is the illusion that you can control this. <laughs> it's not gonna happen that way, Scorps. All you have to do is control yourself. All you have to do is approach this new situation or this new person with the truth. You're not using truth to get out of the situation that you're trying to get out of. You're using truth to get into the situation that you want to get into.